Well, tonight, a small town facing some big questions about where taxpayer dollars have been going. CBS News Colorado investigator Brian Moss has uncovered what some say are questionable transactions in Lakeside involving the town's mayor and his daughter. In the small town of Lakeside, I don't really have anything else to say on it. Our questions to town officials are not being warmly received. Have a nice day. Lakeside sits on Denver's western border, made up of an amusement park, retail businesses, and only 17 residents. For decades, Robert Gordonier has been mayor. He's also the police chief and the fire chief. Records we obtained show Lakeside hired Gordonier's daughter, Brenda Hamilton, who became town clerk, managing much of the town's money, manpower, and property. Her job application says her previous experience was as a self-employed massage therapist, no government or office work. Federal records show she and her husband filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy three times. The town also hired her mother for part-time work, hired a cousin to do office work, and in 2022 paid her husband about $50,000 for remodeling work. I mean, you're the town clerk. Right. We're talking about public money. We're talking about public property. It was clearly nepotism. Jim Poloni was Lakeside's assistant police chief but left this year concerned about the cozy connections. They overlooked what each other was doing. That appears to apply to selling cars owned by the town. Lakeside owned this 2008 Chevy Tahoe used as a police vehicle. We tracked down the bill of sale, which showed Mayor Gordon Ear, on behalf of the town of Lakeside, sold the SUV to his daughter in September of 2022 for just $300. Tim Jackson used to head the Colorado Auto Dealers Association and checked into its market price. It looks like it would be worth somewhere around $10,000 depending on its condition. So you're saying that this car was worth about 30 times more than the town sold it for? It seems, yes. Is that your signature? Yeah. That's your signature? But that's all I did was sign the title and put this information up here. And then you let somebody else fill it all out? Right. Who do you think filled that out? I have a guess, but I want to know. Who do you think filled that well, out? I would imagine that uh, Brenda did. Did you buy this for $300 from the town or not? He gave it to me. There was no money exchanged. But we found after she got the Tahoe, Brenda Hamilton's signed application for a vehicle title also said she paid $300. According to this paper trail, Brenda then turned around and sold the SUV to a man in Thornton. He told us he bought it for $7,000 cash. Does that sound like a sweetheart deal to you? It sounds like it to me, yeah. But that wasn't the only unusual sale. Lakeside bought a Ford Fusion like this one from the Arapahoe County Sheriff for $5,000. The sheriff says he was trying to help out a smaller agency. And it should have been used for law enforcement purposes. That's what our expectation is. But Mayor Gordon Ear immediately sold the car to his daughter for only $1,000. So it should have sold for thirteen to $15,000? According to the, um, some of the prominent used car websites, yes. And months later, records show Brenda Hamilton sold the Ford Fusion. The buyer said he paid $12,000. Ultimately, we thought that you know, we were doing the right thing for the right reasons, and you know, they took advantage of it and, and essentially wrecked it. How do you get a car from this town for $1,000 and then you resell it for so much more? I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Why are you selling these cars, these town cars? They're owned by the taxpayers and the public. Why are you selling these cars to your daughter for so cheap? She wanted to, wanted to buy them, and so I sold them because we were getting rid of them. A lot easier just to do it and uh, be done with it than having to advertise them or anything. So I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado first. Well, Brenda Hamilton says she really did not make much on the Ford that she bought from the town, then sold, because she says she bought a different car for the town. The Lakeside Town Attorney says he can't comment because there is an ongoing investigation into what we're reporting. And attorneys for Mayor Gordemeyer and his daughter also declined to comment due to the ongoing investigation. Well, Brian first learned about this story after a news source reached out to us with a tip. If you have a story idea for Brian and the investigators team, we sure hope you'll call us, 303-863-TIPS. You can also send the team an email at cbscolorado.com.